Hello, this is Doddy and welcome back to another video and in this video we are going to be playing The Stanley Parable. Now, I am really excited to play this game because it has been out for a while, yes I know it's quite an old game but the writing for this and the narration I've heard is just absolutely amazing, right? So I thought I got to give it a go, so we're just going to go straight into it. The end is never, the end is never, the end is loading. Ooh. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor at his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day, of every month, of every year. And although others might have considered it soul-winding, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. Oh, and we're straight in. Okay. Type that. I have heard that there's so many endings to this game, which I am looking forward to a lot. We're in this room, then. With drawers and paper and pencils. Weird light. Are those lights? Can't. Okay, I can crouch, but I can't seem to jump, which is a bit annoying, but I'm gonna have to get used to it, right? Do you press that little button? button? No? Okay, now I want to see if we can get as much endings for this as we can. All of his co workers were gone. What could it mean? No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co workers. I could check. We sit on the chair. I want to sit on the chair. Okay, crouch on the chair. I want to sit on the chair. Oh. Oh, close. Can we actually get on there? Can we? Oh, we did it. Oh, yes. Hey. Wait, can we go out here? We actually can as well. Oh, I think I've broken it already. Didn't broke it already. Yeah, definitely. At can. first, Stanley assumed he'd broken the map no until he heard way. this narration and realized it was part of the game's design all along. He then praised the game for its insightful and witty commentary into the nature of video game structure and its examination of structural narrative tropes. So, now that you're here, what do you think? Isn't this a fun and unique place to be? Why don't we take a minute just to drink it all in? Okay, I'm over it now. What do you think? Are you sick of this gag yet? <laughs> oh, we actually get an option. Oh, uh, yeah, I am. Well, I don't know how to say this politely, but you could literally just hit escape and restart the game any old time <laughs> you want. Like, right me. now. You could have done it just then. Now would also be an appropriate time to quit. Any of these points and so many, many more, all of them are appropriate. I'm enjoying what seems to be an internal conflict going on where you are literally unable to act on your own desires to restart the game. So just to push the envelope, I'm going to try and make this as miserable as possible and see how long you can maintain. Oh, really? There once was a man named Stanley. Oh, this is terrible. Oh, <laughs> Help me. So manly. But the truth must be told, he was not very old and was quite particularly gangly. What Stanley liked most was buttons. He pushed them like some kind of glutton. He did it all day in a meaningful way. But his brain had long ceased to function. Which is why he is in this parable. And lives an existence quite terrible. And if you are not strong, 
and keep playing along, you too will become quite unbearable. Yes. You too will become quite unbearable. Hey. Oh, carry on. Gonna start again. Uh, that's enough now. Okie dokes. Go my knees. No. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Okay, we know we can do Stanley that. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Stanley came to a set of two open doors. He entered the door on his left. Don't kind of want to though. Can I go in that one? I want to go on that one instead. <laughs> we go back. I'm going to go with the one on the right, see if it actually picks up. This was not the correct way to the <laughs> meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Oh, getting Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. I can't believe actually thought of that. Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. I got a feeling I just want to ignore him. No, not going to do it. No. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. I can't believe he's actually thinking of everything. Okay. I want to jump. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. You I'm think? not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but I'm you to go over there. all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone go over you've forgotten here. about. Please. What? Really? <laughs> I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Yeah. Well, I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. Now listen carefully, this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. He walked through the blue door. Aha. <laughs> Perhaps you misunderstood. <laughs> Stanley walked through the no. red door. Walked through the blue door. I still don't think we're communicating properly. Stanley Kidding walked me. through the red door. I can't how I that text is that. Oh! Shall I do it? Yeah, I'm going to do it. <laughs> Alright, fine. Go ahead, Stanley. You want to know so badly what's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, don't let me stop you. You see? There's nothing here. I haven't even finished building this section of the map because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. Broken rooms, exposed developer textures. Is this what you had wanted? Was it worth ruining the entire okay. story I had written out specifically for you? Can we jump? Do you not think I put a lot of time into that? Because I did. And in the end, it was all for nothing. Because this is what you wanted to see. Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game better? What did you want to see? Vehicles? Skill trees? Work with me. You've given me absolutely nothing so far. That is true. Tell you what. Let me take a stab in the dark at a new design and you can give me some feedback. There we go. A third option. Okay. This already feels leaps ahead of where we were before. Go ahead, Stanley. Take it for a spin. Okay. Okay, I'm going to stop you there. Now, tell me about your experience with this new version. 
Would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? Yes, definitely. Feel free to be honest. I'm looking for some real critical feedback here. Critical? Do I, why do you... Okay, so we're getting somewhere. Clearly there's something here that me. speaks to you. If I can be honest here, I really don't have any idea where I'm going with this. This whole third door thing was just a stab in the dark. But I guess you're into it, so let's keep this party train rowing. Here, based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. And to be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Let's take a look. Okay. Tiny Papa, worldwide leaderboard. Okay. Show me it. Good old Neil is offline. All of them are offline. Two, two seconds, what? Oh, that, that's pretty cool. Those are true stats, and that is actually pretty cool. 21.3% of players skip the intro sequence. This is you. I'm 9,328. How <laughs> oh, place worldwide, okay. We're gonna go to a store again. Now, would you say that competitive leaderboard helped you feel motivated Definitely. to keep walking through doors? Again, honest answers please. Definitely. Hey, I nearly forgot. I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working on, and now would be a lovely opportunity to give it some playtesting. Yep. You wouldn't mind taking a look at it, would you? I wouldn't mind at all. Let me boot it up. Wouldn't mind it at all. Is it actually just going to boot up a game? Something. In this <laughs> game, the baby crawls left towards danger. You click the button to move him back to the right, and if he reaches the fire, you fail. It's a very meaningful game. All about it's like a stock photo or something. Endlessly confronting the demands of family life. Okay. I think the art world will really take notice. But of course, the message of the game only becomes clear once you've been playing it for about four hours. So why don't you give it four hours of play to make sure it's effective? Be sure to keep notes on your experience. Four hours? Just meant to. What happens if I? What happens if I just leave it? Bit cool, but I'm just gonna leave it. Oh, I can leave it a little bit longer. Let's see how close I get. Let's see how far I can actually get. You oh. heartless bastard! <laughs> Did you do it because you hate babies or purely to spite me? Because if it's the latter, well, I don't know what to do. I'm completely out of ideas. I can't think of a single thing that might improve the experience for me. I'm not even going to try. I'm out. I'm out. I'm <laughs> done. It's over. Thank you for playing. Your input was extremely valuable. Okay. Oh, hey, since my game was so awful, why don't we play someone else's game? Just to ease the pain. It's... Okay, so since it's over, guys, hope you enjoy the end video, and I'll see you in the next one. I'm only joking, we need to get this done. What do we have here? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, <laughs> this seems like it'll work. Let's give it a shot. Okay. Hey, what what game are we going to play? Someone else has done. <laughs> You're kidding me. Last, the one thing you've always desired. A game we played Minecraft in the Stanley Parable. But is it enough? Tell me that, Stanley. Will it ever be enough? When I say this, I can't believe we're playing Minecraft in the Stanley Parable now. Create to fulfill a greater artistic purpose. Watch this, Stanley. I'm going to build a house. <laughs> this will go here. No, here. <laughs> That's art right there. Let's see, what does it need? I, uh, yes, of course, and just to finish it all off, yes, it's complete. Wow. I made this Amazing. Standing. Look at it. Gaze upon my work of art and feel ashamed at your own inadequacy. Ah, but you've only seen it from the outside. You've only gotten half the experience. Please that is very true. inside and make yourself comfortable. Isn't it grand? Isn't it perfect? 
It could only be better if... Wait, that's it. We must rebuild it out of diamond. Diamond everything. Yes, yes, yes. Come along, Stanley. We have to go mining. Okay. <laughs> Hey, let us out now. Do you go anywhere else? No. Do you have to go here? Are you kidding me? I don't want to go down here. Oh my, it looks like it's going to get a bit dark. Have you brought a light? Oh, no, 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 no. This is far more open-ended than I had in mind. I'm looking for something more narrow and linear. Something that oh, makes you dark. feel utterly irrelevant. This won't do at all. One out of five. Even the diamonds couldn't save this one. Okay, new game. <laughs> oh, that's awesome how we just... Oh, this game is amazing so far. Not even joking. Can I do another game? <laughs> yes! I don't even know what this game is, but I love it. Oh, is this Portal? Are you kidding me? In the glass box with no way out, listening to me talk. Oh, it's inspired. I couldn't have done it any better myself. Is this what Portal? What is this game even supposed to be? I can't figure it out. Oh, okay. Now I'm curious. Let's go find out what the hell this is. That is awesome. Is that Portal? We're... Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, it's a puzzle. Critical thinking, Stanley. You're awesome. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. I think Portal Genius. is Stanley. <laughs> Terrible. No, actually, you know what? I think that's plenty. I really don't care much to see you stumble through any more of these games. Oh, okay. The audio cut off. We just meant to fall. Okay. I think this is supposedly a broken part of the map. I think we've legitimately broken the Stanley Parable. Kind of broken it because it's thought of this, but light at the end of the tunnel. Come on. A B light. 427. Yeah, this is our room. We just meant to push buttons now. Okay, is that what we're meant to do? <laughs> or we're we meant to go somewhere else? Got a feeling. I wonder what he found. If what he wanted was to be the leading man in his own story, well, perhaps he's gotten it. Down in wherever he is right now. I wonder if he's happy with his choice, and if he's learned the heavy cost that comes with it. He'll understand soon what I was trying to tell him. He needs me. Someone who will wrap everything up at the end, to make sense out of the chaos and the fear and the confusion. That's who I am. That is what I mean to this world. It is? Oh, yes. Yes, I'll be back. There's no other way. Once this ends, after it all comes to a close, then I'll be back. The end will be here soon. Very soon. I can wait. <laughs> hey, is it just... The end is never the end. The end is never the end. is loading. That is amazing. Oh, it just puts us straight back. Not gonna lie, this game is amazing so far. All his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Yeah, perhaps I had missed a memo. Right, I'm gonna do what he says this time. I think. Anyway, unless if I spot anything else I can do. When right. Stanley came to a set of two doors, left. doors, he entered the door on his left. Okay, door on his left. Yet, there notes. was not a single person here either. Hey, me too. a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Not cost-efficient graphs. Okay. Note, note that to sell. Graphs are not cost-efficient. 
Hey, use a slider to show employees that okay. Make sure that your slide has a slick blue graphic in the header and throw some bevel on all the text. This will ensure. Okay, things unique. You most of all. You go to here, broom closet. Okay. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, <laughs> but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. Good bring anything up. There was nothing here. No choice to make, no path to follow, just an empty broom closet. No reason to still be here. I wanna stay in there though. I wanna stay. It was baffling that Stanley was still just sitting in the broom closet. He wasn't even doing anything. At least if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. No, don't close the door. He's literally just standing there doing sweet FA. Okay. Are you are you really still in the broom closet? Okay, Standing can I around it? doing nothing? Why? Please offer me some explanation here. I'm I'm genuinely confused. Nope, I'm just gonna You just gonna wait. There's no choice or anything in here, right? If I'd said Stanley walked past the broom closet, at least you would have had a reason for exploring it to find out. But it didn't even occur to me because literally this closet is of absolutely no significance to the story whatsoever. I never would have thought to mention it. Maybe to you this is somehow its own branching path. <laughs> Maybe when you go talk about this with your friends you'll say, Oh, did you get the broom closet ending? The broom closet ending was my favourite. I hope your <laughs> friends find this concerning. <laughs> oh, this is amazing. Stanley was fat and ugly and really, really stupid. He probably only got the job because of a family connection. That's how stupid he is. <laughs> a bit me. Also, Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. Okay. Good to know. Well, I've come to a very definite conclusion about what's going on right now. You're dead. All right. You got to this broom closet, explored it a bit, and were just about to leave because there's nothing here, when a physical malady of some sort shut down your central nervous system and you collapsed on the keyboard. Oh, okay. In a situation like this, the responsible thing is to alert someone nearby so as to ensure that your body is taken care of before it begins to decompose. Hello? Anyone who happens to be nearby, the person at this computer is dead. He or okay. she has fallen prey to any number of your countless human physiological vulnerabilities. It's indicative of the long-term sustainability of your species. Please remove their corpse from the area and instruct another human to take their place at the computer, making sure they understand basic first-person video game mechanics and filling them in on the history of narrative tropes in video gaming so that the okay. irony and insightful commentary of this game is not lost on them. All right, when you've done that, just step out into the hallway. Nope. No can do. Stay in here. And... You too? Unbelievable. I'm at the mercy of an entire species of invalids. Perhaps there's a monkey nearby you can hand the controls to. The fish? Fungus? Look, you can hammer out the details. I'm not particularly picky. I'll just be waiting for when you're ready to pick up the story again. No, not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. Could we actually do it in this? I'm gonna walk out. Coming to a staircase, oh, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Can I walk downstairs? So can I go in the car park? Shall I? Yeah, I'll go in the car park. But Stanley just couldn't do it. <laughs> he considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? Wait, isn't it just the same place we all thought? So. Everyone had vanished. 
His boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I This is the crazy. same room, isn't it? All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence oh, in now. a single moment for no reason at all. Yeah, it is. None of it made any logical sense. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? Yeah, that's a good point. Why don't they? Automatically behind him wherever he went. And for that good point. Matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply repeating? Maybe Probably. He said to himself, this is all too strange. This can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming! Hey, well done. This well done, Stanley. Oh, what a relief Stanley felt. You go in the car? He found an answer, an explanation. His co-workers weren't actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. And he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real-life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. So, he imagined himself flying and began to gently float above the ground. Hey. He imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field. And it took weird. Weird. It was so much okay. fun, and Stanley marveled that he had still not woken up. How was he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why is there a voice in my head dictating <laughs> everything that I'm doing and thinking? Yeah. Now the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley. Oh, that's amazing. It particularly strange. I'm dreaming about a voice describing me, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. And while he thought it all very odd, and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams, the truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself? Believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for it? So before, okay. Stanley is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. Now, hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. After all, he knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was in fact a dream. Did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? How else would the voice explain all that? This voice was a part of himself too, surely, surely, if he could just... He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control, that this was a dream. So he closed his eyes gently, and he Close. invited himself. Oh, it actually is as well. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin, the press of the mattress on his back, the fresh air of a world outside this one. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please, it's all I want. I want my apartment, and my wife, and my job. All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. My life is normal. I am normal. Everything will be fine. I am okay. Nope, didn't work. Stanley began <laughs> screaming. Please, someone wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss. I have an office. I am real. Please, just someone tell me I am real. I must be real. I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Who am I? And everything went black. Okay. This is the story of a woman named Mariella. Uh, what? Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. But on this particular day, what? her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. Whoa. And though she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy. This much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy people look like. And in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. I am sane. 
I am in control of my mind. I know what is real and what isn't. It was comforting to think this, and in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day, the very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career, and by extension, the rest of her life. She had no time for this, so it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body. And then she turned and ran. Oh, that was a good ending. Unfortunately guys, that's the end of the video. If you like this video, then please leave a like down below to show your support and sure you do like this series that I'm now doing. And if you want to see more by me, then please hit that bell, 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 please hit the bell and the bell to make sure you stay notified of when I post a new video. And obviously, subscribe, main thing. Okay, unfortunately, end of the video. See you in the next one. This is a man of name was Doddy. Doddy sat around pressing buttons on his keyboard, pressing record buttons and record buttons again and editing videos and uploading videos and commentating videos doing this all the time till eventually the outro comes up